Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The next topic in section of vasculitis is microscopic polyangitis. So microscopic polyangitis is a necrotizing vasculitis affecting the arterioles as well as capillaries and venules. The disease might also often involve the larger arteries. Microscopic polyangitis is also known as hypersensitivity vasculitis and it most commonly affects the skin, kidneys, lungs, brain and heart. But out of all, the most common presentation is necrotizing glomerulonephritis and pulmonary capillaritis. The necrotizing glomerulonephritis occurs as a result of damage to renal vessels, whereas the pulmonary capillaritis occurs due to damage to the pulmonary capillaries. The necrotizing glomerulonephritis is positive in almost 90% of the patients affected by microscopic polyangiitis. The disease often occurs as a presentation of certain other diseases such as HSP or henoch schonlein purpura and mixed cryoglobulinemia. Moving on towards the pathogenesis. So first of all what happens is that there is an antigen exposure to the body and the antigens may be derived from certain microorganisms such as streptococci and cytomegalovirus or they may be certain drugs such as penicillin or the antigen could be a protein derived from the tumor. So in the predisposed individuals, these antigens result in the activation of anti-neutrophilic cytoplasmic antibodies or PNK and these PNK are autoimmune in nature. So they are directed against the myeloperoxidase enzyme which is expressed in the neutrophils as well as it is also expressed on the endothelium of the blood vessels. So this myeloperoxidase here acts as a new formed antigen and NK antibodies form antigen antibody complexes with the myeloperoxidase hence forming myeloperoxidase and NK complexes. So these antigen antibody complexes result in the recruitment of certain inflammatory cells such as neutrophils, eosinophils and mononuclear cells to the site causing inflammation of the arterioles, capillaries or venules resulting in vasculitis which is known as microscopic polyangiitis. In certain cases through a direct mechanism antibodies are formed against the antigens which form antigen antibody complexes. The antibodies in this case are other than the NK antibodies and these complexes are deposited in the blood vessels resulting in recruitment of the inflammatory cells. The disease is also known as hypersensitivity vasculitis. There are many cases of microscopic polyangiitis which are without any immune complexes deposition. Such type of microscopic polyangiitis is known as Cauchy immune microscopic polyangiitis. So the histological features resemble polyarthritis nodosa but medium to large blood vessels are spared. So there is only inflammation of arterioles, capillaries and occasionally venules. The inflammation is characterized by the presence of inflammatory cells such as neutrophils, macrophages and other mononuclear cells. One particular feature about microscopic polyangiitis is that many neutrophils are fragmented. And just like polyarthritis nodosa, there is also fibrinoid necrosis of a segment of the tunica media. In the entire segment involved, there are focal points of transmural necrotizing lesions in the blood vessel wall. Necrotizing means associated with necrosis. Unlike polyarthritis nodosa, where the histological features from different segments reveal a different stage of inflammation, in microscopic polyangiitis, the biopsy specimens from different segments reveal same level or same stage of inflammation. Immune complexes can also be found in early skin lesions. Whereas in many cases there is a little or no complexes present in the lesions. Hence the disease is Cauchy immune microscopic polyangiitis. In many cases the inflammatory cells are also present inside the venules and within these venules only the fragmenting and infiltrating neutrophils are seen. Hence the disease also gets the name leukocytoclastic vasculitis. The name is due to the presence of fragmenting and infiltrating neutrophils. The clinical features depend upon the blood vessel that is involved. In case of renal blood vessels, there is necrotizing glomerulonephritis 
and it is also the most common presentation of microscopic polyangiitis. The disease is characterized by presence of hematuria and proteinuria. The involvement of lung capillaries causes pulmonary capillaritis, which causes hemoptysis. Hemoptysis means cuffing of blood, and there might also be pleural effusion in almost 15% of the cases. The intestinal vasculitis results in abdominal pain and melina. Melina means presence of altered blood in the stool. The involvement of skin capillaries result in the formation of a palpable purpura. The diagnosis is established on clinical picture and often ANCA antibodies are also positive. The disease has a good response to steroids and immunosuppressants unless there is no involvement of the brain capillaries. So this brings us to the end of discussion about microscopic polyangiitis. If you have any questions, do let us know in the comment section. Thank you.